this is chapter 17 so chapter 17 is going to be talking about special journals also like exactly like chapter 16 but this time we can be talking about purchases and cash payment remember in chapter 16 we we're talking about sales and cash receivable so we're receiving cash here and now we're going to be doing payments and purchasing they always go together right when you purchase you have to pay so the special journal is going to look like this so remember it's going to be a journal but not in a general way remember we used to call it general journal now we're going to do a special journal so the special journal is going to look like this for the purchases you can have uh, the creditors account uh, being credited the account payable so those things you don't need to memorize them you need just to understand them so when you see them uh, this is going to be given to you anyway so on a quiz or a test or anything like that so this is what's going to be given to you and it's going to be empty definitely uh, and you're going to fill up the whole thing the whole table so this is the section uh, is going to be talking about the purchases i'm going to give you an example of it so i'm going to show you how it's going to look like uh, let's see let's go further down further down further down uh, and then this is somehow uh, it's gonna, yeah this is how it's going to look like okay so that's the purchase purchase journal so you you write the name of the company that you owe money to and the account payable being credited that means you're going to pay them that much money um purchases it's a debit account so whatever you bought and you need to pay and um, yeah, that's it i mean we're going to go i mean like i said in all the details in, in class definitely because we have a video that's short for you here just just to introduce uh, what we're going to be doing uh, now the next section is going to be talking about cash uh, payments so let's see how it's going to look like it's going to look like this one cash payment like i said no need to memorize the the columns you need to understand the columns they need to understand how they work so uh, this is also i'm going to give you an example of how it's going to look like uh, remember there's two two separate journals right so this is a cash payment journal the other one was a uh, purchase on journal uh, remember that when you when you use the purchase journal that means you haven't paid yet okay cash means you already paid or or you're gonna pay or whatever yeah we'll see i mean not not you're gonna pay you already paid because the purchase is, is when you are going to pay okay so let me show you how it's gonna look like also this this is the ledger by the way the ledger is an easy thing you know for because it does not change never change it's always the same now this is kind of the cash payment journal now here you it shows for example um you know the cd okay this is pro runner warehouse uh, okay the account payable we actually look at this one account payable debit it's already been written for you so when you debit an account payable that means you paid someone money okay and somehow they gave us a, a discount and so we paid them cash less than what they asked us to do because they gave us a discount that's exactly what we used to do in the journal the normal journal but this is going to be more um you know uh, since we are in the business of buying and selling a lot uh, that will be more more uh, efficient than writing a normal journal we leave general journals for specific things but this is since it's going to be done so many times so it's but it's better to be using those special journals by the way okay that's what most companies they use they use the special journals and that's it you know that's a chapter definitely this is a quick 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 video it's going to take us a couple of weeks to finish uh, and that's it and we'll go from there guys okay bye bye